Hi, this is Eric, and today I'm going to be continuing on a part two series on how to import a part into MetQ and then add it to your bill of materials. In this example, we're just using one valve, but you can use this on your entire drawing. Let's say if you wanted to import a section of your drawing into, let's say, another MetQ project, then this allows you to carry all those bill of materials objects and attributes from one drawing to another. I just wanted to show you the step-by-step -step process of what you need to do. So let's get started. The last video covered how to add the attributes to the fitting, but in this video we're going to be taking the fitting and then moving it into a new drawing, moving the bill of materials and all the attributes with it. Uh, so it requires us to use a couple of tools. One is the UCS Align tool and the other is an import export tool. Um, they're both found in the piping extra pull down here. Let's first choose the UCS uh, alignment tool here. We're going to pick the point to establish a new origin, which is the center of this valve here. And it needs a point in the Z axis direction, so we're just going to enter a point down here somewhere. As you can see, if you look closely at the UCS icon, the Z is actually pointing into the fitting, the X this way, the Y up. Uh, and so this is how we want to establish the fitting that we're going to be importing into the other drawing. So let's have a look at our other drawing. Right now there's nothing in it, but I am in the same southwest isometric view. I'm going to go ahead and change that to southeast isometric. And let's go ahead and just draw a 3D threaded pipe. Uh, I'm using one inch. So I'm going to just pick a point here, turn on my um, polar tracking, and then I'm going to just type in 12 inches and then I'll hit enter. So there's our 12 inch and we're going to be attaching that valve here and importing all the values from the other drawing so that we can create a bill of materials. Let's use the alignment tool here again. Again we're going to pick the uh, UCS origin here. This time we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. We're going to be pointing it out so that the Z points away from the fitting uh, that way when we attach the other fitting, it's going to attach in this direction. Let me show you how that works. So let's go back in here. We're going to go down and we're going to choose the import-export utility. Uh, now this uh, dialog works in an L-shaped fashion. So it works sort of like you start here, you go down, you select the options and the buttons, then you go back up here and finish it out. So let's check this setting here. We've had selected piping objects only, which is good. Uh, we're going to be choosing uh, the copy move to clipboard option. And we're going to be selecting the objects. Let's do that. Press enter. Now it wants a base point, which we'll enter here. And then we will export and prep the objects. So we'll wait for this to finish up. And then we'll choose OK. Now we're going to go back into that other drawing. We're going to be loading up the same utility. And now we're going to be uh, choosing the, the paste from clipboard. We could import it from a file. Just like over here, we could copy it from a file. But in this case, we're just going to paste it from the clipboard where our um, valve is sitting. And then we'll insert and adjust the objects. And you'll notice it just brings it in right away. And then we can just snap down. And then we can just snap to the center of the pipe. And then don't forget to do this. We're not finished yet. Then we want to import the objects and choose OK. 
Now, well, now once the pipe is imported successfully, then what we can do is we can go back, like the last video, and then create that bill of materials and bring it into paper space and so forth. So we hope this video has been helpful. Feel free to email us at info at cadavenue.com or give us a call at 888-271-7121. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.